It's day 10 of refeed and I am smelling coffee but still dry fasting. So I just got back from lunch with friends and cousin and my cousin. I was sitting there and so this is like the second time that I've gone out to eat post fast and the last time I didn't have a positive experience all the meat on my plate was overcooked but this is like one of my most favorite restaurants from my hometown and so I'm looking through the menu and there's really not much that I could eat on the menu and it's supposed to be like fresher food locally grown food so I was kind of feeling it and the flank steak at the bottom of the page looked like something I could eat I was gonna say no rice no beans and it was like a brunch so I was like oh maybe they'll just let me go for like two eggs as my side and I think it had like a green sauce I'm like okay you know I think that would work and I was literally so close to ordering it and they came to me and I'm like uh, I'm good with water and I kind of just focused on the fact that I have plenty of food at home I have my hamburgers I need to cook I have a little piece of steak that I still need to eat at this moment it is approximately 3 30 p.m. and I have been fasting dry soft soft dry fasting for almost uh, 72 hours at this point. And this is the longest I've ever gone dry fasting, but I'm loving it. Like it's not even hard. A soft dry is way easier than I ever anticipated. I, I'm sure that one day that I will do a hard dry, but I'm around people too much to not take showers and not brush my teeth and not wash my hands. There's just so much going on this week, and the week of Thanksgiving that I, I don't want to have to put that extra pressure on myself. So. A soft dry is good for me. I'm enjoying it. What kind of sparked the soft dry was today's Saturday. On Wednesday, there was a Friendsgiving slash birthday. I accidentally overate before I went. You, know, I had that video where I was like literally thought I was gonna die. So basically, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try a dry fast because that morning I woke up. I think I was like 147. So I had gained like what, like three pounds from that whole situation. And then today I was like down to like 142.3. So. I'm like back like below what I ended the fast at, which is pretty interesting. I'm enjoying this uh, this soft dry fast. I might break it today, I'm not sure. Um, I'm thinking about heading to the gym. I'm gonna go continue editing some videos and working on my YouTube page to making sure that you guys are getting updated like you should be. Yeah, that's all for now and I'll give you an update if I end up eating today or drinking. Just got to my parents' house. I'm about to hit 75 hours dry fasted. I am impressed by how good I'm feeling, but um, I think I'm gonna get a few calories in at the moment. That's my plan. I might change my mind. I'm not sure. One thing I do want to mention that I noticed about dry fasting is it's discussing how much earwax is excreted from your ears when you dry fast. It comes out pretty far. So have those Q-tips on hand if you're dry fasting. And I did notice actually excess earwax throughout my 54 day long fast as well. So just to give you a warning there as well, but I feel like it's even intensified during a dry fast. Today I'm refeeding with four ounces of steak, two ounces of bacon, and two eggs. So delicious. Now I am enjoying two cups of chicken stock. I added 14 grams of butter. I added a half teaspoon of turmeric. I added two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I added half a teaspoon of potassium, so less potassium than usual. I felt like any more would have just affected the flavor negatively, so that's what I'm drinking now. So now I'm having the butter mochi I made a few days ago. I didn't get the right pie cutter to get it out of the the pan. This is actually extremely satisfying. I'm gonna go ahead and leave recipe below on what I did and it's kind of like a custardy type thing with some pecans on top so it kind of gives like a pie-like feel to it. Very satisfying, very delicious. I'm just not gonna have as much as I did the last time because I felt like I was gonna die. I was just way too full. So sis. Really? So I, I dry fasted for three days, just ate. Mm -hmm. even a keto dessert and I'm still at three. So I ended up obviously eating after my three day soft dry fast. I did not work out today, but I plan on getting back to the gym tomorrow and that pretty much sums it up. I had, you know, my meat, my pretty much carnivore diet 
I'm feeling good. Yep, tomorrow's another day of I don't know if I'll eat. Just going with the flow, just seeing how things are. So I hope you have an amazing day and go out there and create a life you love.